The focus of this lesson is on taking our polynomial f of x and writing it in expanded form. So I'm going to use the polynomial that's already multiplied together in part, which is our factorization over the real numbers. And so I'm just going to rewrite it here. Um, if we want to write this in expanded form, basically all we need to do is multiply our factors together. So um, usually what I do is, um, and it technically doesn't matter how you do this, but I, I multiply my quadratic factors together first, then the linear, then the leading coefficient, because you can multiply in any order that you need to. So, um, so this is the multiplication I'm going to do first, and I'm going to do it by foiling. So first times first will give me x to the fourth. Outside I'll get 4x squared. Inside I'll get x squared and then last I'll get 4. And so that simplifies to x to the fourth plus 5x squared plus 4. And then that factor needs to be multiplied by x minus 2, um, which we'll do by distributing both the x and the negative 2. And then after that we will multiply by the negative half. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite my negative half since we're not doing that multiplication yet. And now I'm going to focus on multiplying the x minus 2 by that x to the fourth plus 5x squared plus 4. And x times x to the fourth is x to the fifth. x times 5x squared is 5x cubed. x times 4 is 4x. Taking the negative 2 times the x to the 4th as negative 2 x to the 4th. Take the negative 2 times the 5x squared is going to give us negative 10x squared. And negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. And then I look to see if any of those terms are alike, but none of them are because they all have different powers on x as you can see. And so at the end of the day, um, in expanded form, I just need to distribute that negative half across on every term. And so this is negative one half x to the fifth plus, oh, well, I guess I shouldn't say plus because I'm going to take negative one half times five. So, um, ne so that'll be negative five halves x to the third and then negative one half times four is going to give us negative two x and negative times a negative is a positive and then half times two is one so one x to the fourth I'll just write the x to the fourth a negative one half times negative ten is a positive five x to the second and negative one half times negative eight is a positive four and so then all I would do at the end, um, technically you don't have to do this, this is good enough, um, but I like to have uh, my powers in descending order. So I'm going to start off with my degree 5 since that's my highest power, and then take my degree 4 term, my degree 3 term, my degree 2 term, take the sign with the term, my degree 1 term, and my constant. And at the end of the day, this is my polynomial in expanded form. So you just take each factor and multiply them together and multiply by the remaining factors. So that completes how you take a polynomial and write it in expanded form if it was originally in factored form.